Hello. I usually drink coffee while reading the newspaper in the morning. Is it hard to work out every single day? Yeah, of course, but it's so worth it. I turn on some music to start off my day. This really helps me to start off my day. Number one, as soon as I wake up, I start stretching in my bed while I'm lying down. So of course I stretch in all my wrists, all my ankle, you know, my legs and my arms, but also I stretch my face. I blink my eyes a few times and I also lift my eyebrows, put it down, lift my eyebrows and put it down. I also open my mouth ah, and close my mouth open my mouth and close my mouth. I repeat these steps a couple of times. Since I'm such a not morning person, I'm so not a morning person. So these stretches really help me to wake up and get my ass up. And also it's really great for blood circulation. So it's really great for my skin. Two, as soon as I get off my bed, I drink a cup of warm water. Drinking a cup of warm water when your stomach is empty is really, really, really healthy. So when we are sleeping uh, at nighttime, uh, our body gets really, really dehydrated because all the moisture goes out. So when you wake up, we are very, very dehydrated. You guys all know that it's suggested to drink two liters of water every single day, right? So for me, I drink a cup of water as soon as I get off my bed to start off my day. It's the best to drink water, but for those of you who have to drink a cup of coffee, it's better to switch to tea. Number three, I always eat seasonal fruits. You know, um, since I'm not a morning person, it's really hard for me to eat anything in the morning. So that's why I make sure that I eat fruits and I just put it in the mixer and grind it up and then I drink it. So it's easier for me to eat something. There are so many people uh, that are really, really busy in the morning or that they don't feel hungry in the morning. So that's why they just skip breakfast. But you guys know that if we skip breakfast at lunchtime, we're really starving so usually we just scrub and we eat more than we usually eat or we will eat so much if this continues then of course we're gonna gain weight so i want to recommend uh fruits in the morning um, seasonal fruits are better in the morning then you know it's easier to eat something than you know having a huge breakfast i personally want to recommend apples in the morning you know in korea apples in the morning are called golden apples because apples are wonderful for constipation so that's one of the things that i eat in the morning but you guys it's up to you to choose you know which fruits or you know any even vegetables that you want to eat in the morning four during the summertime my face becomes oily in the morning so i use clear's facial soap for my t-zone only and the other parts of the face i just rinse with water when we go to sleep, a protective layer of skin forms so that when we wake up in the morning because of the layer, my, our skin might look a little bit oily, it might look a little bit um, just very, very shiny. Many people think that their face is really oily, so they wash in the morning with cleansing foam. But if you wash with cleansing foam in the morning, it can make your skin even more dry and it can actually, that can cause you to break out more. Number five. After cleansing, I don't use a towel to wipe my face. I never use a towel for my face. I put my toner on a cotton puff and wipe my face right away, even with a little bit of water on my face. If you wipe your face with a towel, it's easy to rub your face harshly and stimulate your skin. This takes away moisture from your skin faster, so I put toner on a cotton puff and wipe my wet face. For those of you who use towels then this might feel really really funny in the beginning because you really want to wipe it off but you can't but if you try this you know every day just within a few days you'll be able to feel that your skin has become more moisturized and also you will be able to feel that your skin has become healthier number six before skincare use mask packs 
uh, especially during the summertime, even after cleansing, it's really hard to calm our troubled skin. There is an emergency solution that I use often. First, put Claire's mask or other masks that you guys might have in the fridge before you go to sleep. Then in the morning, use the mask before the step of using toner. If you are all out of masks, you can use your toner to calm your skin. Use Claire's toner on cotton puffs. Make sure you put sufficient amount and put it in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. Of course, it'll be better to do this before you wash your face. When it's ready, put it on your face and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then take it off. It will cool the heat on your face and help to calm your pimples. It also helps to close and tighten your pores. Number seven, especially during the summertime, if you put a lot of cream on, then it's easy that you know your lotion and everything just crumbs and also you get lotion or cream boogers, right? Can, we, can I call it cream boogers? <laughs> That's what I call it. So you guys know what it is, right? Cream boogers or you know, it crumbs. My personal tip is you put less cream on and you put on your toner, not just once, but after you put it on once, you put it one more time or two more times, depending on your skin condition. When you put on your toner just once, it soaks in really fast. Then put it on one or two more times. Then you'll be able to feel that your skin has become really moisturized. If you try this, you will be able to feel that your skin has become healthier. Those days when you feel like your face is extremely dry, then use Claire Soothing Cream on your face and massage. After, put toner on cotton puff and wipe it off. Then put on your skincare steps again. Then you'll be able to feel that your skin has become really, really moisturized. It's also very important to take your vitamins every single day. And right after cleansing, uh, if you can't put on your toner right away, then it's really, really handy and it's really easy if you put on mist before you put on your toner. If you have any other beauty habits that you want to share with us, please let us know because you know, Kunis needs to know and I'm very curious also. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Subscribe Wish Trend TV or be square. Subscribe Wish Trend TV or be square. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Please. I'm doing this. Please subscribe.